welcome everybody to the April meeting for the local alcohol and drug planning committee regular meeting. Uh, we get together monthly to feature different initiatives around alcohol and drug services, the SUD continuum, the nexus with behavioral health, and any other initiatives that our community has going. Um, thank you all for joining us. Well, our presentations today, I believe we have the first one is from Katie Lenahan and Connections for Oregon SUD Inventory and Gap Analysis. Katie, thanks for being here today and the floor is yours. Great, thank you so much. Um, hi everyone, my name is Katie Lenahan. I work at the OHSU PSU School of Public Health. Um, I am working with Dr. Elizabeth Waddell, who is a researcher here. Um, and we're also working with Oregon Health Authority and the Oregon Alcohol and Drug Policy Commission on an inventory and gap analysis of resources for substance use, people with substance use disorders across the continuum of care. This inventory and gap analysis is going to be done at a county level. And so the goal is really to be able to quantify both the need for services as well as the number of existing services that exist, and then to really show where the gaps exist within each county with a real focus on health equity. So not just showing where the gaps in services exist by the numbers, but also by access or by culturally relevant or linguistically relevant services. Um, so we are trucking along with this process. We have four student workers who are conducting surveys with organizations that provide prevention, treatment, or recovery services to really learn more about the types and levels of services that are provided, the capacity for services, as well as different support structures that exist within organizations for clients. Um, the way in which these surveys are being done is, is by organization, but the way that data will be analyzed will not ever identify individual organizations. So in no way are we ever, um, you know, we're not, we're not analyzing data on individual organizations or reporting back on individual organizations, but really look at what's happening at a county or region level so we can help demonstrate the counties and regions with some of the biggest gaps um, in services across Oregon. As you can imagine, one of the big challenges is really getting in contact with the right people at each of these organizations so we can make sure that we're getting everybody's input and information included in the work that we're doing. So I am here today to really spread the word and to hopefully get some of that contact information about who from the organizations that you either work for or are connected with so that we can get in touch with some of those folks. Um, I know looking at your titles and organizations, some of your organizations we have talked with already. So thank you. If you're one of the people who have talked to one of my student workers, thank you for doing that. Um, I will put in the chat a link to a very, very short form that would just help identify the name and email address or phone number of who we can contact to get the right info from your organization. I will also put my email in there because I'm always happy to talk to people or answer questions. And I'll also pause here as well and answer any questions anyone has about the project or the process or what we're hoping to do. I will say we're the, the goal is to wrap up the phone calls and surveys with organizations by the end of June and to have the final report um, analysis done by the end of August with our final report by the end of September. I'm going to go ahead and put these things in the chat, but if people have questions for me, um, please feel free to send those my way. Do folks have questions for Katie initially here? I was just wondering, Katie, how this connects to um, SPI, like the Strategic Planning Initiative and, and the evaluation of gaps and deficiencies there. You mean like Oregon or the ADPC Strategic Plan? No. Um, I can actually jump in, Julia. There she is. Denise. Yeah. Thank I'm, you. I, yep. Hi, Katie. I'm Denise Hacker. With I'm the strategic planning manager for the strategic planning initiative um, that OHA has funded. And you and I actually had a meeting last month yes. where yes. Uh, you briefed yes. me on your research project. And Katie and I have been in touch. I've been sharing um, some of the data that um, Jackson County has shared that's relevant to the inventory um, so that we could streamline the process of information that she'll be asking for. Um, also, I'll be sharing the final 
final needs assessment report with Katie as well. So she'll have that information too. And I also shared um, JCC's um, uh, service directory that came out last month uh, with Katie too. So um, I'm passing along all this information that you've been uh, delivering to me um, so that Katie could have that uh, to add to her inventory. Yeah, Denise, and I'm glad you're here. And I did actually mean to say that in my my general overview is that we really feel like the two different projects are complementing each other, where a lot of the other work that is happening is a lot of qualitative focus groups, which we don't have capacity for. And our analysis is much more quantitative analysis. So it really does, I think, help to complement the work. And I also want to recognize, I understand people are stretched super thin these days. And so um, recognize that there's been a lot of similar asks out there. We're really working hard not to duplicate asks and ask for information that we can get elsewhere. So thank you for that question. So, so just to be clear, so there's strategic planning initiative that have, has collected that information, but they plan on getting you the information that they've collected. And this is not similar to the AD, ADPC, am I saying it right? AD, ADP. Bar the strategic plan for Oregon? Right. Okay. Right. That's under, that kind of governs the LADPCs, right? Lori, please. Yeah, by all means. I, I think, um, I think that the work that OHSU and Katie are doing is for the ADPC. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Lori. Yeah. So we are okay. working directly Thank with you. the ADPC. And this is really the first step of that strategic plan is to really map out what is happening county by county. Um, we will be using all the information Denise shared with us. And then the information we'll be asking organizations is to fill the gaps in information that we really still need to create the estimates both of need and um, compared to what our recommended number of services would be county by county. Okay, so Julia, I think you do bring up a really good point, though, and there's like a few different things that get brought up. I mean, there was still the chip in the child, which had identified behavioral health as one of the primary needs and created a strategic vision around. There's the work that Denise's group is doing. Katie's group has some work. I still like this. I don't tell my kids that I printed this out because it's really I can't read on screen, but it's uh, it's this really thick document that tries to create. Um, a vision for how Oregon could have moved forward systematically from 2020. I believe it was given to the, the governor to potentially approve like two weeks before COVID. So it kind of got moved aside. Um, but the idea that there's all these different initiatives, if there was a way just to kind of conceptualize them for people like me who are kind of on the periphery, I think that would really help in terms of how they're all kind of pulling together. Um, because there's so much good info. I really enjoy particularly the part where it talks about like administrative accountability and tracking data. Um, and I think Katie, you might be taking a step towards that within this plan, even if it wasn't formally funded and adopted, but finding that kind of easy to understand, like if Eric can understand it type of, a, of a, you know, block colors and grants and like that, like where the money goes and how it all works, that would be great because we have an opportunity here to make this, to make these things really move forward in a way that, that we can all understand. So, so excellent, Katie. And so I think, Rochelle, we can probably send out part of this request if you have a more formal way, Katie, of honestly putting in like, like a one page of what it is and what your contact is and what people might be asked to do if they respond or when they respond. How about that? Yeah, absolutely. I will say we've had really great response from Jackson County. It's one of the counties we have some of the best response to. So just a thank you already to you all. I think a lot of people have already talked with us. Um, and then I can send out an overview. The ideal situation would be about a 20 minute conversation with one of our student workers. We do also have an external facing survey that we can send to you if that's a more convenient way for you to get us the information. We're happy to send it that way. Um, I think it's just a little bit easier to make sure that the information is really accurately being entered when we have our student workers conducting the interviews, but certainly understand and can get it to you a different way as well. All right. 